Hi, today I have a very easy problem for you. I encourage you to read this problem and try to solve this problem on your own. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And here is a problem. If one parrot that is uh, homozygous recessive for one trait and heterozygous for the other trait is crossed with uh, another parent that is homozygous dominant for the trait A and uh, homozygous recessive for the trait B, what proportion of the offspring will be uh, the same genotype as parent 2? And here are the six answers that you may choose from. And I will start my explanation with uh, writing down uh, genotypes of the parents. So parent 1 genotype is small a, small a, and capital B, small b. And we have to cross with parent 2, whose genotype is capital A, capital A, and small b, small b. And uh, now we can solve this problem using two methods and I want to show uh, both of them. And first would be when we uh, consider uh, allelic uh, frequencies of the two pairs, of the two parents separately. So for example here would be one pair of the A, a allele A and here would be another pair of the alleles B. So let's do a Punnett square for the first pair. So first pair would be parent 1 here and parent 2 on this side. So here we would have small a, small a and on the side we would have capital A and capital A. And if we make a Punnett square, as you see, the only one genotype here possible, capital A, small a, capital A, small a, capital A small a and capital A, small a here. So in 100%, as you see, this is going to be only one genotype. So now we can uh, answer our question, and this is going to be answer A. So there is zero possibility for the uh, progeny to be the same uh, genotype as one of the parents, as parent here too. Uh, but we still can solve for the B, a little B also, so this is going to be parent 1 on this side and once again parent 2 on this side. And here we would have uh, capital B, small b, and parent 2 would be small b, small b. And now, uh, as you see, uh, we are going to get different results. So capital B, small b here, small b, small b here, capital B, small b here, and small b, small b here. And as you see, 50% would be uh, heterozygous, and uh, another 50% would be homozygous recessive. That means that uh, two possible genotypes for the progeny, or F1 generation, that would be capital A, small a, that we take from this table, and um, capital B, small b, this is going to be 50%, and another variant would be capital A, small a, and small b, small b, this is going to be another 50%. And in the other method we have to find what kind of gametes each parent can produce. And for example, parent 1 can produce capi uh, small a capital B, so small a capital B. And another type of gametes it can produce small a small b, small a small b here. And this is going to be parent 1. And parent 2 can produce only one type of gametes, that is capital A small b. So we can put this genotype here, and now we can build a Punnett square once again. And as you see, only two possible genotypes, that is capital A, small a, and capital B, small b. 
and another variant would be capital A small a and small b small b and once again as you see ratio would be 1 to 1 or 50 to 50 percent so the same results as we got here and the same answer a there is no possibility that we are going to get capital A capital A for the progeny when we cross these two parents thank you for attention this is all for today thumbs up if you like this video subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day goodbye